Well, hello there, YouTube. Uh, interesting times that we're living in, no doubt. You know, I'm starting to put all this stuff together. And, you know, of course, everybody's got a channel saying, you know, when the end is going to come and, you know, the mark of the beast this and the mark of the beast that and, oh, there was a hurricane and there was an earthquake and that means it's, you know, the rapture's right around the corner and all that. But, um, you know, I try not to be that, you know, let's just say flexible like that. I, I try not to look at every little tiny detail and just say, this is it, this is it. But what I try to do for y'all out there is try to look at the whole picture and, you know, like a puzzle, put pieces together and see if we can make some sense of it. And um, this this whole no mask, no service that's popping up everywhere now, this is very interesting. Um, Washington has the no mask, no service law, which is now a law. So you cannot be served, you cannot buy anything unless you have a mask on. That's just the law now in Washington. And you'll see the signs, no mask, no service, social distancing required pop up everywhere now. And um, it's very interesting because it seems to be a prelude to Revelation uh, thirteen seventeen that says that there will come a time when if you don't have the mark of the beast, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. Now, some people would say, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. No one stop you from selling anything. Yeah, we can sell stuff online. You can buy stuff online. Absolutely. So I'm not making a jump there. What I'm talking about is the social conditioning. It's the, it's the, the sheep, if you will, that are following along with the herd without knowing where they're going. So if the CDC comes out and says one thing at the beginning and then they change it two weeks later, but the sheep are still following the first thing, right? We got a problem. And we know with this whole coronavirus thing, you've got, you know, um, at first the, the mask won't do anything, right? And then it was you have to wear a mask. And then it's stay inside, but then they came out and said direct sunlight kills the virus. So why wouldn't you want to be outside, right? But you got to stay at home. Then they said the mask is the only thing that can protect you. And then we see that the ear loop mask doesn't do anything. Okay, so, and now the studies are coming out showing that the mask actually reduces your oxygen intake and it actually tra you know, traps carbon dioxide in your lungs because you can't get all of it out. And this is actually having a negative effect on people. It's actually suppressing people's immune systems because you're not getting enough oxygen okay, for your body to, to run healthy. So, and it's interesting that in a lot of states that don't have masks required, such as South Dakota, for example, they don't have a mask mandate, they don't have a social distancing mandate, and they have one of the lowest counts of coronaviruses in the country. Why is that? And then you have Florida and these other states that are requiring masks, you know, over, you know and look what's happening. The cases are skyrocketing, you know, and it just says to me that something's very strange about that. You know, um, CDC came out and they said if you're asymptomatic, then the chance of you giving it to somebody is next to zero because you're not actually coughing, sneezing. You're not showing any symptoms. You don't have a fever, nothing. So the chance of you giving it to somebody is, is next to zero, right? But yet, mask mandate has to happen for everybody. The CDC actually came out and said if you are healthy, they do not recommend that you wear a mask because it can actually affect your health. But somehow we've got laws now that are mandating masks and we can't go into a retail store now and buy anything unless you have a mask on. See, none of this is making any sense, but what's happening is they're getting a pretty good picture of who's gonna just go along with this. Who's gonna go along with the flow? And we're seeing the social media, in fact, there's a new term out there called the COVID idiot. You know, if you see a COVID idiot, report them. I've seen these reports coming out now where governors are encouraging people to turn in people who will not wear a mask. Call and report them. And we know from the Bible the same exact thing is going to happen. 
when people don't want to take the mark of the beast and join this new world order that's promising peace and health and prosperity for everybody, you're supposed to turn them in. In fact, the Bible says that children will turn in their parents. Brother will turn against brother, sister against sister. They will turn each other in for not obeying what the government at that time is going to tell you that you need to do. And now you got this temperature check thing, which I didn't know these these things even exist. But, you know, there's a trampoline park down here in Florida. There's Adventure Island. There's all these different places that people go to. And now when you go in, they put this little gun to your head, you know, this little temperature, call it a temperature gun. It's what it feels like when they, they you know, they put it right, right in between your eyes and they check your temperatures through an infrared, you know, scanner in a way and it tests your temperature. And if you don't have a temperature, then you don't have any symptoms and they figure you're healthy, you can go on in. But yet you still have to wear a mask. Why is that? If you're healthy and you don't have a fever, you're asymptomatic, you can't give it to anybody according to CDC, so why do you have to wear a mask? But you see, there's a time coming when the Bible says there will be a new world order, there will be a one world government with the Antichrist at the helm, and it's going to come during a time of great chaos, and they're going to require everybody in the world to take the mark of the beast. And where? On your forehead or in your right hand. And no doubt they will have some kind of an infrared scanner that will scan your head to see if your mark is real, see if the mark's legit, and to get all your personal information. But you see what's happening now? They're getting people used to this. They're getting used to people just listening to the government. They're using fear to control people and to change behavior. And so now people are getting comfortable with just doing what the government says, getting comfortable with this gun thing going in their, in their forehead. Now I can tell you, as a kid, when I was younger, getting into those Nerf gun fights all the time, I have an issue with Nerf guns being pointed at my face. I don't like guns of any kind being pointed at my face. And I'm thinking about what about military vets out there? What about people that have, you know, issues with that? Are they going to be comfortable having a, a, you know, a gun type thing pointed at their forehead, like right in between their eyes? No one cares about that, though. So we've got some social conditioning going on, social engineering, as they call it. We've got no mask, no service. We've got the temperature gun being, boops, infrared scanned on your forehead to see if you got a fever or not. Now I'm waiting for them to come out with one that says they can just scan your hand and check that next. So what I think we're seeing here is a, is a prelude or a dress rehearsal, if you will, of what is coming in the very, very near future. When you're going to have to have a mark or you're not going to be able to buy or sell anything. Just now, if you don't have a mask, you can't go in and buy anything. See the correlation there. Scan your head with the little gun thingy. When you have the mark on your forehead, they're going to scan your head. They're going to scan your hand. It's very, very strange. And you combine that with the facial recognition that is everywhere now. You go into a Walmart now, and they will have these big TV screens up. And if you look at the camera for a second, you'll see that a yellow square comes around your face. That's facial recognition. Oh, Chris, you're just being paranoid. You're watching too much you know, TV. Well, I actually asked an employee of Walmart this. I said, hey, what, what's with the box around your face? And they actually told me it's, it's facial recognition software. They are working with law enforcement. And everybody that goes into Walmart, at one end of that store or the other, your face is being picked up on camera, and they're scanning it, and they're running it through a database to see if you're a criminal. Now, how does that tie into the New World Order? Well, if you're not somebody who has taken the mark, and believe me, they'll know who has and who hasn't, then you're going to walk into a store somewhere. You're going to be walking outside. You're going to be sitting at a red light in your car, and the camera's going to capture your face. They're going to find you, and you will be forced to take the mark of the beast, or you will be killed. That's what the Bible says. Now, the social media angle of this is, you get people yelling at you, telling you're an idiot, you're putting people's lives in danger because you won't wear a mask, 
See the social pressure. See, masks are trendy now. You got everybody and their mama making a different kind of mask now. They got designs on them and they got all these slogans and how you want. Oh, let's make it fun. See, let's get people fun and, and into it and get used to it so everyone will wear a mask. Right? That's what they're doing. Make it trendy. Make it cool. All the big stars are out there. Hey, hey, you got to wear a mask. I'm just staying home with my family. Ha <laughs> ha. Not going anywhere. Not going in the direct sunlight, which could kill the virus if I had it. I want to encourage you out there. You will not be here for the Antichrist and the New World Order and the Mark of the Beast if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the Bible talking. That's not me. Revelation 4, there's lots of different places, and it talks about the fact that we will not be our believers, will be taken up in a rapture out of this earth before all that takes place. So if you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm begging you to consider the claims of Christ. Put aside all the preconceived notions that you have and search for yourself. Ask God to show you. Show you the truth. Show you the wisdom. Show you the way. And he will. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. And if anybody opens the door, he's talking about the door of your heart. I will come in and dine with them. It means I will come in and be intimate with them. He will know you. You can have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ and be saved from the coming stuff that's happening in this world. So, is all this a precursor? I don't know. Certainly seems like there's a lot of connections. Certainly seems like a lot of creepy stuff going on. Social pressure, making it look popular, make it trendy to do what the government says, misinformation coming out all over the place, contradicting itself, but no one's paying attention. Scan your forehead, scan the mark. No mask, no service, no mark, no service. Seems like a lot of stuff is taking place. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. It was on my heart. I encourage you to do the research yourself. And like and comment below on what you think. If I'm crazy, tell me. If you agree with me, let me know. And again, I appreciate you guys watching. And God bless you all.